It's November 9th, 2020, the week after the election of Joe Biden to the presidency and Kamala Harris to the vice presidency in the United States. I'm thinking about aging and optimism. Here's a poem called In Bed on that topic. I'd hoped my wife and I might make love, but she showed no interest in my hesitant advances, and I was too shy to ask. I'm reading with a headlamp as if spelunking toward an underground river or skiing at night, the moonlight snow rising from the slope. My wife might change her mind, but for now, she rumbles down the track ahead of me, a train steaming toward its secret station. With eternity before us, there's plenty of time for the embarrassments of aging, flesh pooling at the waist, liver spots, darkening hands, and face hair. The unknown is as ordinary as socks, and our spirits as transparent as the gown my wife wears in bed, her body released from the prison of day. With a snort, she throws an arm across my chest, knocking the book to the floor. I switch off the light, take a breath, and imagine what comes next.